Hello guys and welcome to episode 31 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Ark in the Black leading the Tomb Kings to world domination. Today we're hopefully going to be sorting out the recruitment of our three armies here. Utep is well underway, but we want Setep and Wakaf to join him ASAP. Because once Thutep's what? done, we'll probably sort out uh, maybe Setep and then Wakaf. Wakaf's going to be getting his really high rank of Shabti. That's going to be really awesome. Anyway, let's see what needs to be done. I believe we're under siege from the Dwarves at Valea's Sorrow. Yep, Thori is here. Lord, some smith. We can level up the Tomb Prince. And then I think we'll just jump straight on in. It's going to be a really tough battle, but it needs to be done. If we wait, then we'll probably get double teamed in the next turn. Yeah. Let's fight this out. I should be able to make it work. This is our awesome Necropolis Knight army. Those Trollhammer torpedoes are going to hurt. We're going to take down those Gyro Bombers. It's going to be tough. Tough old fight. Alright, let's uh, move back. I think it's going to be reliant on our casket. Our casket can probably fire at them from quite a, quite far away. I'm going to have to make sure I'm focusing their hammers though. Uh, let's have these ready to fire away. Get my giant back here as well. Line up my infantry. Line up the skeleton arches. And then we'll have the Necropolis Knights on the flanks. I'm going to have to go on top of this artillery ASAP. We'll go for the cannons there. And we'll also go for the organ guns. Although, I don't have to go for the organ guns straight away. Going to target those hammers. Hopefully, we can get a good hit in. And they hit quite a few different units. Definitely going to be targeting the hammers with my bone giants. All these are going to have to fall back. I'll start moving around the flank with our Necropolis Knights. Ooh, that's not good either. The bone or the organ guns are moving up. They're going to hit hard if they're in range. Right, we are pulling away some of their forces over here with these Necropolis Knights. It's probably a good thing. I was really hoping I could get on top of these organ guns sooner and later. Alright, shoot down the gyro bomber. Super important right now. Gonna also want to kill off the Rohammer torpedoes there. That's pretty important. Okay, taking down one of the bombers. Take down the other one. Oh, spread out, boys. Spread out. Ow. That's not very fun. Okay, we did a nice chunk of damage there. Alright, these are going to go for the Quarrelers now. We have one of those, keep chasing that down. The other ones can come back. Okay, my Bone Giant needs to get out of melee combat. Let's 
let's hit the Iron Drakes. Get my Tomb King into melee combat. Okay. Right, let's target that unit of Iron Breakers back there. His long beards are tanking us quite well. Good. Right, we need to take care of the organ gun crew as well. Charge into these hammers, and in the meantime, we'll target the iron breakers back there. Spread them out quite a bit, which is good. And run down these long beards. Alright, let's break those off. I'm gonna spawn my Shabti. And we'll use them to engage some units. Like the Iron Breakers. Let's use those to clean up the long beards. And that Troll Hammer Torpedo unit still might come back. I kind of want to kill them all. There's some fully fresh units here. Let's uh, hit these with the basket of souls. We've kept them running around, which is good. Oh, is that army losses? It looks like it. Yeah, nice. That was actually relatively clean. Kept our team guard alive. Our Nehakara warriors went down. I think I might have also lost a unit of skeleton archers, but... <laughs> I thought that was going to be way worse. Damn. Alright, I'll take it. Make sure we run these down. I am going to want to stop myself firing into my own guys. We have one more shot at these hammers and we'll leave it there. Or the uh, Gasket of Souls at least. Curious if my Ashabti can keep up with them. They're pretty fast, the Ashabti. Now, one good thing here is that we barely lost any models from these Acropolis Knights, even though it looks like they're low on health. They'll basically be full health after the battle. A 
And the Necropolis Knights really just annihilating these guys. <laughs> Looks awesome. Doing plenty of damage to their leader as well. Alright, let's speed things up a bit. We run them down. want to make sure that I'm not missing any opportunity to kill some units. Uh, their leader's also being killed, which is good. Hopefully won't have to run them down after this. I guess we still can. There's not much left. I might have just killed the army straight up. Yeah, the Nehekar warriors and one of the units of skeleton archers died. But the Necropolis knights, back to full health. <laughs> That's nuts. Right, we'll take the 2,000, thank you very much. And yeah, we're going to have to just wipe out this army. Easy done. I'm going to put those war banners on my Necropolis knights. And we'll take the Canopic Jars from that. Okay, so from here... What do I want to do? I guess we could just go into Kalak 8 Peaks for now. Pretty safe. And then we can grab another Skeleton Arch unit. And probably just throw in some Skeleton Spearmen. Okay. Rakash. We can finish off Soul Reaper. Can go hard to hit. And the Lich Priest. Grab a skeletal steed. Didn't really use him in the last battle at all. Oh well. Okay, Arkin's gonna have to head up towards Hagrief. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna make sure that I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, I think we can just go straight up. Oh, hello. This is Malice Darkblade and his army. Wow, this is some slaughter. I have 61 melee attack and 69 melee defense. Black Ark Corps says also on 60 melee attack. Damn, that's a strong army. The Calabdis on 78 melee attack. That is a lot better than ours. Yeah, I feel like we're a little bit outmatched here, but he is in full speed stance, so I should probably take the opportunity to kill him off. Let's fight this on the battle map. Not a huge fan of this map. It's a bit small. Doesn't really give us a chance to use our artillery very well. I guess maybe we'll get some good shots in. I'm really going to have to whittle down their front line, get rid of the Black Art Corsairs. Cold and Dread Knights are going to be a pain to deal with as well. Right, I'm just going to start like so. We'll have a couple of Team Guard with Halberds on the uh, right flank. We'll have these on the left flank. Have my archers ready to go. Move the catapults back a little bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Tomb Scorpion, I'm just going to keep him back for now. And the Necro Sphinx needs to target the Calabdis, although the Calabdis is anti-large as well, I think. I guess that's the only thing it's good for. I'd also target Malice with it. Malice on a mount? He is. He's on his Red, Dread Knight. Or is a uh, cold one, sorry. Okay. See, so, yeah, I could target him. Maybe we hit him with the bone giant as well. Okay. Start the battle. I'm going to target Malice. 
Uh, we're going to use this to hit the Black Ark Corsairs. And Screaming Skull Catapults can hit the Black Ark Corsairs there as well. Although I should probably think about hitting the this is of slaughter actually. This is of slaughter are probably going to be more scary to deal with. That was a good hit though. Got some good damage onto Malice, I think. Oh, good hit, good hit. Alright, let's hit those uh, Black Art Corsairs on the right. Actually, let's hit the ones on the left. And take on that Death Hag and the Tomb Prince. Uh, we'll go into the Cold on Dread Knights here. Gonna have to make sure we target that. Uh, let's spirit leech this master. And then our front line can drop this so I can get some skeletons up. Alright, I'm gonna target their archers. How's my Necro Sphinx doing? I mean, he can keep pounding on Malice Starblade, honestly. I really do not mind. Yeah, just keep pushing him around. Keep smacking him. Stay on top of that master. Do fate a buner onto the dread spears. Get rid of those. Maybe a bit of a waste, but there we go. Bring in the Ashabti behind. Okay. Not bad. We're chasing off that guy, that's good. Did we get rid of Malice? No. We can go after Malice. I need to take out the Calibdis as well. We can engage the Calibdis with the Tomb Guard. A lot of my Tomb Guard are very low right now. Right, let's deal with Death Hag. Uh, that Death Hag's going for my casket. Get the casket out of the way. If I lose the casket, that's really bad. Uh, I might also lose my Necro Sphinx. That wouldn't be good. Right, where's my Necrotect? We'll heal him up. Okay. Spirit Leech Malice. We got the Sphinx coming over to deal with the Cold on Dread Knights. Hopefully that can save the Halberds. We'll give it a go. We're losing a lot of men. Alright, let's get the liver mortis down here. And we'll go and deal with Malice. Let's 
Spirit Leech him. Okay, I think that's victory. Damn. That was quite painful. Took a lot of damage. We'll leave it there because they were in full speed start, so I'll destroy the army, but damn. Cold on Dread Knights getting 104 kills. Look at those Black Art Corsairs though. 170. Blimey. Chewed up my front line. Lost one of my rank 9 skeleton archers as well. That yeah, could have been worse. It's actually pretty good, I think, in the grand scheme of things. Malice was tough. I think they end just march, so I get the uh, movement range, and then we'll have to go back and grab some more troops. Because I don't think we have enough to take a settlement. Do get the extra 30 armor piercing weapon damage there. Yeah, let's march back. We'll get on water. Or we'll get on land over here. Be okay. Well, that at least stopped them from invading us. So, happy about that. Alright, Rawa. Rawa needs to head towards Ashridge Mountains. There's another Hag Grief army here. What's with the unit ranks? They're all like rank 9. <laughs> Everything is rank 9. Uh, we are not in range to attack that again. That's a shame. Alright, well, we move up. Maybe we can take Ashridge Mountains next turn. I'm going to use Lamazash to take out Queek. Queek might try and attack Death Pass, but Black Iron Mines one turn from leveling up. And if I can get that leveled up, I can get walls there, and that will make us safer against future Dwarven attacks. Let's go for Queek. Oh, he's going to do a runner. Okay, interesting. I will just try and move away then, because I don't want to get caught out by Rungni. Hopefully Rungni will take out that army. We're kind of in the way, I think, of them attacking Black Eye and mine, at least. So that's good. Yeah, Hakaros can head up to Rasitra. No army in our way. I'm just going to go to the border. And then I'm going to recruit some more troops. Okay. Over to Senutep. Okay. Senutep's been kind of the warden of the north with uh, the western badlands here. Been preventing armies from coming into our lands and took back Middlestone Mine, so that's been really good. Should probably tax this province. Good point. Is there anywhere else where I'm not taxing? Get our money back. Alessini could start taxing this, but it's only worth 76. Not worth it. I think we head up towards Iron Rock, maybe, or Black Crag. If I can link up with Rakash, we can probably do some double teams. So let's head over this way. Oh, that's an army of Hagrif as well. Okay. I'm going to put him into ambush and we'll see what happens. My hero not moved, it's fine. And research available. We'll go for the Necrotect. We're going to need more Necrotects anyway. Uh, getting the local recruitment capacity from the Proclamation of the Sixth Dynasty is probably a good shout. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Because that will help me recruit a lot faster here at Alhic.
We've got cinnamon upgrade available at Granite Massive. Do I need to do that? Probably not. Anywhere else? Zingarakas, maybe? Yeah, let's see Zingarakas. Okay. Damage building. Now ah, we'll just leave that to fix itself. Let's move on to the next turn. Looks like I forgot to move that army. But hopefully it's in range to attack the settlement next turn. Ooh, okay. They moved in to raiding start. So they must not have seen my army, which is good. Van Eschen trying to solve things with agents, but that's probably not going to work. Reichland's really strong right now. Wow. And Thorgrim has decided to have a go at Lamazash. I'm kind of feeling like we could win this. The Ashabti should beat the Longbeards quite convincingly. The only thing we'd have to make sure we do is take out the Gyrocopter and the Quarrelers and Thunderers. I am very tempted to play this out. I could, of course, retreat. It is tempting to retreat and then attack them on my own terms. The map's kind of bad. Yeah, there's no artillery. Let's jump on in. Let's do it. Biggest thing that worries me is the unit ranks. The unit ranks of all of the armies we've come up against recently have just all been rank 9. Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm probably just going to stand back. Let them come to us. Okay, let's start deployment, start the battle. Off we go. If I can get some good hits onto the gyrocopters at the start, that'd be nice. And we can attack Thorgrim. Although the Chosen of the Gods probably better off firing at some long beards because they have the missiles that spread out. Yeah, let's fire at those long beards. Put a bunch of shots into Thorgrim. And we hit the gyrocopters. Okay. I'm going to have these in two groups. Really need to take out their range units. So let's start engaging them. Great. Good kills. Alright, let's get into this engagement. kill off these thunderers and we'll also go for the warriors there. Right, these should get involved in melee. Alright, these units in the center here are taking a lot of damage. Let's hit Thorgrim with a Spirit Leech. Alright, 
Gonna target that Corley unit. I really want to finish off these Thunderers, I think. The long bids on the flanks have been wrecked by a Shabti, which is good. Uh, we could probably focus on killing Thorgrim, honestly. If I back off with him, maybe I can target him with all of the Ashabti as well. I'm going to drop down his ability there. That's some good damage. Okay, nice. Gotta keep kiting him. Getting a lot of damage in there. Right, let's charge into the side of them. Orgrim's almost dead. There we go. Beautiful. I think that's almost victory. Thorgrim's taken care of, and that's going to cause him to break. Beautiful. Just like that, we had nothing to worry about. Gonna fate of you know those long beards. Right, chasing them down best I can. Okay, that was really good. That now deals with Thorgrim's army. Want a Shabti? You can do it. Catch up. Calm them down. Loads of damage. Wonderful. Alright, we'll end the battle there. Close victory. We lost a unit of Tomb Guard, but the Ashabti literally won that single-handedly. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I should get more of those Ashabti in Lama's Ashes army, because, yeah, he could pretty much solo these armies with his Ashabti. That's just <laughs> ridiculous. I mean, these actually have reasonably high melee attack and melee defense, so the fact that the, the Ashabti took no damage like that is, is nuts. Anyway, uh, we're going to want to take the Endless March. And we got Rudge Killer. For extra research rate, faction wide. Three armies at Black Crag. Look at that. Blimey. We keep building up, but we keep breaking them down. We've got another attack. This time, and the caches are. Uh, yeah, the Rebellion decided to finally attack us. Okay, I'm going to have to play this out. Probably just going to let them come in and then we'll hit them with this ability, the Legionary Barrage. But the towers will probably do a decent amount of damage. Um, hmm. Maybe I just man the walls initially with like a couple units and then yeah, we kind of funnel them towards the main square. Because that way my Shabti will get a lot more kills. Okay, 
Okay. We'll do this. And then these three units can capture the walls. We got one over here. Can capture those two. Uh, one on top of the gate, they can capture those, and one on top of those. Okay, cool. Let's go. As soon as they get close, I'll probably just pull back. We'll target the clan rats there. Clan rats here. I think just taking out as many melee forces as possible is the best way to go about this. Speed it up as they come towards us. These towers are actually doing a decent amount of damage. Okay, probably going to want to back off now. Uh, we can come back on this side as well. In the middle. I reckon we can just stay where we are again for now. Alright, time to go. going to catch up with us there. Bit of a pain, but looks like we'll be okay. I just need them to bunch up. He's being run down by the clan rats' his spears. A bit of a pain. Uh, but here go my archers. I keep that unit at the back. I can choke them there. Have my leader take out their leader. But I guess I could have my Shabti kill their leader. Hopefully we can take him out. We've got more clan rats coming in there. We can drop one of these soon. Okay, let's kill these ones off. Loads of damage. We oh, need to get my lord out of there. My way. For him and the Hikara Wars. I'm gonna move my horseman around the side. And I'm going to try and pull back the Ashabti as well. Because if I can get them to bunch up again, we can hit them with another lovely legionary barrage. And my lord. Oh, you are kidding me. I thought we killed their lord. Their lord chased down my lord. We ended up losing ours. Thank you. 
Okay, Realm of Souls kicked in. Honestly, haven't really got a good place to put this legendary barrage. And maybe I could put it here to just kill them as they back off. I'm not sure. Gotta keep running them down. I, mean, I think that might just be victory as it is. Maybe that'll bounce. Yeah, it did bounce. Oh, that's okay. We can kill off those. That's victory. Okay, so uh, just get up on the walls. Up to these towers. Shoot them to death. Run them down with the cav. Didn't manage to catch too many more of them. That's not great, because they're just going to attack us again. Shouldn't have lost my leader there, that was really dumb. I thought, I seriously thought we'd killed off their leader, but he chased us through and killed mine. <laughs> uh, classic. Alright. I'm going to go for Bind Souls, get some replenishment onto my garrison, and that is it. Okay, Proclamation of the Sixth Dynasty is complete, got another Doom Tide coming. Alright, and that unfortunately guys has been my time, gonna leave it here. Next time around, I, have no time for this. I guess we'll have to take out Queek. Queek He's in no. Underway stance, so I should be able to get him. With the Ashabti, that should be a relatively simple attack. Look at these forces, though. That's some serious armies that I'm going to have to deal with. Yeah, we got some big fights on our hands in the future, but we're making some good ground against uh, Queek, hopefully, or Snitch, sorry. We're gonna, we've got the Fortress of Vorag in our sights, Ashridge Mountains as well. Uh, we did a chunk of damage to uh, Malice Darkblade, so that's good. We can certainly zoom back and get back on land here with Arkan and recruit next turn. Oh. I mean, I think attacking Snitch was a good idea. Just means that I don't have to go back on myself later in the campaign. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,